Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of May 27th, 2021. This is episode 82. Yes, Welcome. It is. We are getting ever so close to that big old fat hundo. Hundo. That hundo. You know who I'm friends with? Benjamin. And he's friends with a lot of me. Not a lot of you. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting digitally through the internet across from me. Alex, how, how are you? Doing, everybody? I'm good. Good? Yeah. I know you're good. You know why? Because we just mm. uh, recorded Horizon Forbidden West Amen. Gameplay Reacts, and it is live right now for your viewing pleasure. Please go give it a chance. It is very good. Me and Alex had a great time. It's very yes. short, too. Only 20 minutes. Only 20 minutes of ps5 gameplay it looked fantastic yes it did it looked very good mm -hmm. now we won't bore you with that so we're gonna leave that out of the news but as a reminder the state of play did go live around i want to say 5 p.m eastern i think around there what roughly for the horizon it? was it 8 p.m 8 p.m 8, 8 p.m thank you 8 p.m yes. eastern i oh, went live you. And if you don't want to watch our video, you can find plenty of others, or you can find the actual watch, straight up watch, watch video. Horizon Forbidden West video on PlayStation's. But for real, go watch our video. Come on. Look, give us the support. We, we're doing really good right now. Just like, <laughs> you know, I'm trying with these, you know, Listen, we're trying with these algorithms. I'm trying with these backgrounds. Let us know how we're doing. Listen, get off your high horse. <laughs> <laughs> and go support us for once in your goddamn life for once <laughs> i'm just kidding we know we love you let's get into some light sprinkling of kind of news light... kind of don't you know we do a quick rapid fire of what we think some news is oh, so first up god of war sequel is actually named god of war ragnarok alex you put this in the doc thank you so much yes i, I think that was a very interesting thing like you know some people might not actually know if, if, if that was some sort of code name or if that was the actual mm -hmm. name of the game that is full on the name of the game it is called god of war ragnarok which now, it wasn't originally it wasn't what was no it was you know it was just called the next god of war god of war sequel and people mm -hmm. just kept calling it ragnarok because mm -hmm. of the the it's ragnarok's coming and uh -huh. they're like we like it. We're gonna go with it. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. They're mm -hmm. like, you know what? Just, just keep calling it that. They just you, keep saying you, it. So. You know the blue logo? Yes. That was fan made, and they kept it. Really? Mm hmm. That's really cool. That's what they said. Yeah, they were like, yeah, that even the logo was fan made, and they kept it. Yeah, they stole it off some guy. Mm -hmm. We liked it so much, we just yeah. ripped it off. Now we'll sue you if you use it. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Rumor roundup. <laughs> this is a little bit of a section of the show where we talk about all the random rumors i find on twitter are they real are they not <laughs> only time will tell first rumor rumor is that mm. there is a switch pro put that in quotes because there's still not a name for this thing but there's a switch pro could be announced very soon and could release as early as september this was going around i couldn't find who no was completely i couldn't find who was completely behind this rumor Mm -hmm. So I was having trouble finding the actual source of what this was. Everyone kept saying this, and everyone kept referencing who it was, so I was having issues with finding the full back from us now. Alex, you immediately said, no way. I am inclined to believe you. I can't imagine that they got a whole system ready to launch in September with COVID, <sighs> with the chip shortages, and all these things. I, know, all these yeah, things. I could definitely see a March maybe release. That, that yeah, would make sense to me, but not literally. This soon. Well, what was it? A couple months ago, maybe two, three months ago, uh -huh. we literally were just talking about that Samsung were just manufacturing the displays for this. So they don't mm -hmm. even have, like, unless they already made the bodies for the systems mm -hmm. and everything, and mm -hmm. all is the Nintendo is waiting for is the screens. They're like, hey, once the screens are done, ship them and we'll smack them on there and send them out. Yeah, that's a possibility. Yeah, but I am not an engineer for game for consoles. I, I think March. I'll tell you right now, if it releases in September, that means factories are getting the parts and everything to put them together. I mean, right now, really now, yeah. yeah so I was say right now, if if they don't tell us it's coming out, mm. it's gonna be leaked any day. Oh, for sure. And it's already leaked. We already know it exists. It's yeah, just the fact of when it comes thing. out. So I'm going to be honest with you. 
If this thing is real, it ain't coming out in September. Unless mm-hmm. Nintendo is 5D chessing this thing, and they've got some sort of thing going on where they like, have some inside people with chipsets, mm-hmm. and they got this whole thing, and and like this factory in China maybe that they, they have ties with, and they're going to like really build these things very quickly. I highly doubt that, but maybe. We'll see. Maybe. Hey, I'll eat my words. Maybe in September and- we'll be playing our Switch Pros like, thank God I was wrong. Breath of the Wild mm-hmm. 2 was so good. Yep, and I'll buy a Switch Pro, and then my wife can keep my original. There you go. Yeah, I got a plan. I respect you for that. Alex. Rumor is Square Enix is working on a new action-focused Final Fantasy title Mm -hmm. with Team Ninja. It's going to be called Final Fantasy Origin. The title will be exclusive to the PS5. Not much of a shocker. Um, They did buy the exclusivity rights behind Final Fantasy XV. Right? We're on 15, right? I just had a brain fart. Like, did I say the wrong one? Um, 16. The next one, 16 is coming out. It's not out That's yet. That's the next one. Yes. I said 15, sorry. 15. But 16. I knew, I, at least I caught my error. 16 is well, the next one. Well, you weren't wrong. There's been 15. 16 is. Yeah, not but I said it was yet. exclusive. So that oh, would make it, it incorrect. Okay. But um, it, it is set to go to PC later. And mm-hmm. they're having an alpha demo sometime this summer. So you assume at the Square Enix conference. They're going to show off this game. This this rumor, by the way, came by Fanbyte. It's where I first saw it. The, the website called Fanbyte. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so a, another exclusive for PlayStation Five from Square Enix. So not only did they get Final Fantasy Sixteen, which is crazy in and of itself, and I feel like people keep forgetting uh, mm-hmm. be, because like everyone's like, "Oh my God, Starfield's like exclusive." Like remember, like PlayStation bought exclusivity rights for whole Final Fantasy game, and then they did another one. And we're getting a demo suit, so I'm excited for this. Uh, action focused, Alex. What are you thinking, Team Ninja? Right. Um, Team Ninja. Let's, I mean, let's... they're the ones who did Ninja Gaiden. Right. Which so action? Now... So, so the, action what... focus. I assume is it's not. Um, I it's. I mean, what they mean by that, I assume is it's not turn based. It's gonna be like Kingdom Hearts or fifteen. Yeah, yeah. I I definitely went to. Okay, that's like Kingdom Hearts, right? Like, yeah, and of course, yeah, Team Ninja behind the Neo series. Uh, of course, the Ninja Gaidens. Yeah, so it's just combo combo y type of thing. Like, yeah, that. yeah. So so I definitely think we're seeing maybe a hybrid Ninja Two, Ninja Gaiden Two, Ninja Gaiden Three kind of like system. Not, of course, not mm-hmm. as deep, but we're, you're probably like doing these crazy moves with. Mm-hmm. Final Fantasy characters, you might be doing some crazy summons, and uh, there might be a lot of people on screen, maybe like 10 to 20 mechs, or, you know, other Final hey, Fantasy villains. We'll, we'll Who see. knows? We'll see, but it's a rumor, and another rumor, rumor has it, Guardians of the Galaxy game is reportedly in development at Square Enix. This is via at Jeffrey Grubb. He is, um, works at Venture Beat, I believe. Might be wrong about that, but he should be working at Venture Beat. And he kind of, I can't, I couldn't find where he said this. I actually found this second handedly through a, um, uh, a th- I think it's called Culturally Crave or something like that. It's a, tw- a Twitter page that I follow. Uh, I think Nibelian also tweeted this out, which is a- another kind of insider person. Mm-hmm. And they just, he, I just saw this and I was like, well, I mean, he said this at some point. He, d- he does uh, t- uh, Twitch a lot. Maybe he said it then. Maybe. But now we know Guardians of oh, the Galaxy he, game is... Here we go. Um, He said, speaking during his latest YouTube Thank show, you. Jeff Grubb's Game Mess. That's right. He's doing the Summer Game Mess thing. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. why he said it. And he said it there. Thank you, Alex. For... Thank you. Yeah, you're so quick with this. I appreciate it. Gotcha. But Guardians of the Galaxy. Wow. Okay, so first off, what? Second, what does that even look like, do you think? Do you think it's probably in the same universe as the Marvel Spider-Man movie games and Marvel Avengers? Like, or do you think that these games no. are going to... You already knew where I was going, right? Yes, I do. No, they're not. They're not. Yeah. It's too complicated. Games are way too complicated. You would have to find one publisher to do all mm-hmm. of that. PlayStation is not going to call up... Sony PR is not going to call Square Enix PR and ask them, is this story Okay to do in your universe that will never happen Mm. but it will have a better chance if one publisher does a extended universe type thing i could see this happening in the avengers universe Mm. (laughs) r.i.p to the avengers 
But yeah, the game that recently came out, uh, he uh, helmed by the Crystal Dynamics team, I could kind of see that. I could see a potential with some sort of crossover with that, or maybe some nods. But Guardians of the Galaxy, I, I and to be clear here, Jeffrey Grubb, not a, not not a man to to think he's not lying, and he wouldn't make this up. So it's in development. I believe him. So I'm just curious when we'll see it. We could see it. C three. We definitely could. I mean, maybe definitely could. We definitely could. They they said they're gonna be there, so we de they could they could show us a logo or something. Mm -hmm. It's already leaked. It's already leaked. So I just will come out and say it. All right. As you you clicked on the the thumbnail, so you know what this is. But the Xbox Bethesda Showcase has been announced, coming out June thirteenth. And I don't know if you've seen this image, guys, but if you look up this image, this image is sick. So it has a little Master Chief. And it's got like kind of a Starfield esque thing going into it, so it's like half Starfield, half um, mm -hmm. uh, Halo Infinite, and it looks fantastic. I cannot wait for this. I cannot wait. My favorite part of this on Twitter, both E3 and the Summer Game Fest were both taking credit for this uh, event, which is uh, it's hilarious. It's just mm -hmm. hilarious. That is a hilarious thing that both of them are like, "Yeah, I can't." Um, I'm glad you're having it around this time. You know what's crazy? What? When they showed off the Xbox, and I don't know, I don't know if it matters, but the Xbox and Bethesda thing when they showed it off, the Master Chief, whatever, or that's it's not, I don't know if it's Master Chief, but it that's Halo uh, Reach. It's not inf. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's Infinite. Yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe it's. Like why? Maybe why it's. Maybe it's Infinite, and someone has someone has taken over like as email. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I just saw like uh, Halo Reach things, and I'm like, interesting. Maybe they're showing off some multiplayer. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to garner. There's multiplayer stuff. Maybe I don't know. And and you see that in the corner, Alex. That's a ship. That's a pelican. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what drops from pelicans? Spartans. Mm -hmm. Battle royale confirmed? Question mark. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 being a, I'm being a dickhead. Of course, maybe, that doesn't mean anything. It's just maybe so cool. that's where we get the battle royale, and you could be anybody from Reach to you can you can you know be all the Spartans if you want to be. Who knows? I'm excited. We'll see. There, we, we, this is something where the achievers will know when it comes, and we'll be right there reacting to it right alongside you. Can't yep. wait for this. This is probably my most excited thing out of the summertime, is this singular, because we're getting both Starfield and Halo Infinite. Which is crazy, because I'm, I'm, I'm liking that it's an Xbox Bethesda event. As like in, you're, you like that it's a one kind yeah, of thing yeah, that you go yeah. and watch. Mm -hmm. So okay. I like I, I see what you I, mean. like instead of them being separate and uh -huh. they're probably gonna show off the same games anyway. They're like you know what, smash them together. Just I'm like shove like them it. together. I like it. I like it too. This is gonna be a quick one. As the achievers know, I'm a slut for a good JRPG. So nothing <laughs> got me more excited than over the week a Dragon Quest event happened. Now lots of Dragon Tech talk that uh, was had and lots of jollies and I had a lot of fun during it. But I won't bore you with all of it. But I will do two significant announcements from the show, so bear with me, Alex. Try not to go to sleep, please. First of all, Dragon Quest Three is being remade. Uh, this game kind of features a HD 2D style graphics. Think of Octopath Traveler, if you've seen that game. Mm -hmm. um, I, it will have a simultaneously worldwide release on consoles. And then, uh, and of course, a release date wasn't given, unfortunately. Um, what was more cool, in my opinion, was during the interview portion of the live stream, um, Yuji uh, Hori, Yuji Hori, I think is how you pronounce it. The Dragon Quest creator did let slip that they plan on doing this to Dragon Quest One and Two. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Definitely don't think he was supposed to say that, but it's really cool that we know that now. You nailed the you nailed the name. Did I? Yuji Hori. Uh, yeah, Yuji Hori. That's okay. how I would have said it. Yuji Hori. Thank you. Next, Yuji. but not least, Dragon Quest Twelve: mm -hmm. Flames of Fate was announced. Mm -hmm. Not much was said. We just got kind of a logo reveal, but Yuji Hori did let us know that this is going to be, quote, more adult, end quote, mm -hmm. and the combat system will be completely different than any other Dragon Quest. There will also be some sort of player choice system in the game. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna see more of this, huh? Uh, yeah, more, more of, of that. We already get plenty of it in Dragon Quest, so maybe we'll actually have oh, relations man, man, I, with them. Maybe I, should, maybe I should start playing this game. Yeah, oh, it's a lot of boobs, a lot of it. Yeah. They're, they, they're not ashamed. There's bunny girls. It's a big thing in the game for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe they're... Like, like maybe. Playboy? Yeah, yeah, straight up. They 
they wear the Playboy suit. I don't. Maybe that's a big thing in Japan. I'd love to actually know. It's, I mean, I'm just curious. Fair, to be fair, in Dragon Ball Z, they didn't Bulma wear one or Dragon good point. Ball. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah, she wore the yeah. exact same the outfit. Thing. I have yeah. no idea why that's a the thing. thing. I mean, it's a very attractive thing to see a woman in. So I maybe so. that's why. I don't know. Maybe. But that's all the Dragon Quest stuff I'll bore you with today. There was plenty <laughs> more. You can go read about it, definitely. But th those were the two big ones I wanted to bring up. Alex, something very interesting happened that kind of blew up a little bit. Mm, Curious me. to get your thoughts. Borderlands 3 is set to get crossplay support soon, but not on Sony's PlayStation console. Gearbox, developer of Borderlands 3, has revealed that it is ready to enable, quote, full crossplay support across all platforms, end quote, but that publisher 2K Games required it to be removed for PlayStation consoles. <laughs> Gearbox CEO Randy Pitchford then on his Twitter revealed, quote, we have been required by the publisher to remove crossplay support for PlayStation consoles, end quote, to pass certification. It's not immediately clear why 2K Games has asked Gearbox to remove PlayStation crossplay or whether it's related to Sony's general disdain for crossplay. Interesting. Alex, hmm. what? Well, I mean, we do know from the e Epic Game Apple suits. Apple situation, yeah. That we got a lot of emails saying, first off, PlayStation never wanted to do crossplay with Fortnite. There was literally an email, I want to say it was Geo Corsi, mm -hmm. told an Epic Games, I think, I think it was PR. I don't remember who he was talking to directly. He literally said, what is in it for us? We gain nothing from letting this happen. So why would we let it happen? That is, like, I paraphrased. That's essentially what he said. Mm. So they clearly don't like this crossplay thing. They clearly don't want it on their platform. Why would you think they stop it now? They've let Rocket League do it. They let Fortnite do it. They let Call of Duty do it. Why Borderlands? Very strange, I think. Mm. And they said is... very specifically to pass certification. If you don't know what certification is, uh, achievers, there's when you when you go to put a game on the PlayStation Store, or Xbox, or any store, you have to pass what's called certification. It means mm -hmm. your game has to do, and it's like it's like nothing to do it, but but it, it essentially what it does is it proves that the game won't crash the system or it essentially does a lot of things to ensure that when this game is uploaded someone's not going to download it and their system gets exploded or wiped or some sort of dramatic thing now we've all played cyberpunk so we know cert means almost nothing so that being said why do you think this happened i can't really think of a good reason aside from what's in it for them right could it be a microsoft thing I can I Microsoft probably could not care less about this, I think. Well I feel like it's a PlayStation saw crossplay was a thing. Mm -hmm. And maybe their crossplay is different in a way that doesn't jive with how PlayStation likes crossplay if they're gonna allow it. Maybe. So maybe they're like, you can't do it on this then. If you don't change this thing, maybe. Mm -hmm. And we know how PlayStation is about not changing things. So maybe that could be an it could be a thing. Whatever the the case is, Randy Piff, Pitchford knows, mm -hmm. and I want him to say it because he will. He doesn't care. He'll just say stuff. So hopefully he just he gets a little tip soon one day and he just starts tweeting. Mm -hmm. That's that's fun. Alex, Sony yeah. had a financial meeting recently with some investors, and they told them some very interesting details that we can find. The first one. We're getting more PC ports now. This might not be a surprise for anyone, but the next one might be a surprise. The very next PC port we're getting from PlayStation to PC is Uncharted 4. Nothing crazy was released aside from just saying that Uncharted 4 is the next game coming out for PC. Um, their reasoning given was very corporate-y. It made us a lot of money to put on Horizon on PC, so we're now doing Uncharted 4. <laughs> um, I, I'll stop right there, Alex. Of, this is of course now the me, me and you have been saying for a long time and i think the achievers agree with us this doesn't stop 
Uh, they didn't put Horizon on PC to not put any other PS4 port games on no. PC, so it's just going to happen now. I, I mean, you Days 4, Gone just came out. Days for, Gone for just PC. came out. Next one's God of War, right? That's crazy. God of War is probably next now. So if if it's not next, it's soon. Like, yeah. it, like it could be maybe yeah, some I mean, random game, a, like Medieval. I mean, just about or everything. The only thing I have uh, is, I mean, Death Training's on PC. I don't think Spider Man. I don't. Spider Man's no, not. Spider Man's no. not on PC. I could actually yeah. see them not doing it just to have Spider Man only on PS4 because that's like their thing. But I wouldn't be surprised if if they put Spider Man on PC in time for Spider Man Two. Because again, mm-hmm. this is just to get people to try and buy a PS5. To be fair though, it's crazy how Uncharted Four is now just going to PC. Yeah, Uncharted like Four. It came out yeah. in twenty sixteen. No. 15? I'm checking. My computer wants to click on things. Oh, uh, 2016. Things. 2016. Oh, that was right. Mm-hmm. That was right. That was right. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, that's it, it's they've only really started doing this PC thing. Um, I think it's clear that new management wanted this to happen, so they probably mm-hmm. put some things into effect to try and get this speed along. Uh, but but yeah, I don't have too much else to say. So on to the next, uh, there is a second part to this. They then m- went and made a proclamation that they will now be focusing more on live service games. Nothing else too much was given, but they want to now start looking into live service games. Alex, what do you think of that? That's essentially Sony saying, we're going to start making live service games. We're going to make... Destiny's divisions. Okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say for live service games. Give an example in yeah. case uh, achievers yeah. don't know. Oh, of course. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. That's Division, Destiny Two. These games that live on past the sixty dollars that you pay. You pay by the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, that that basically comes as a service. MMOs is is the classical term of of what yeah. it is. Now, of course, not these games aren't really MMOs anymore. So you kind of have to call it you know something else. So. Where do they go with that? I mean, you, PlayStation have pl- they have plenty of IP to try and do a live service game. What is something that kind of pops out to you as a good live service game? I, I have one, and I'll go first because I, uh, of course, knew the question. SOCOM. I think they could definitely do a SOCOM mm. live service game and make it really cool. And if not SOCOM... Now, are we going by third party or I would say first party Sony? Because I would say Sony has to own the IP. Take that as okay. You go. Well, because think about it, Sony only has or is only working on like five major titles right now, so it would have to be something involved with those IPs, isn't it? Wouldn't it? Uh, well, what do you mean five? You mean like recently, like we know of? Because we know that like there's the big, fifteen like the big ones. There's like there's like the big ones, like God of War. Oh, you're talking Spider-Man, about the big IPs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think they're gonna make any of those live service games. I think okay. I think we're looking That's at more. I was hope, not hoping that. Yeah, I think we're looking at more something that's going to be revived so mm. calm resistance wouldn't be surprised yeah. if we see a resistance um wouldn't be surprised not, if we, i don't see it happening but it, I, mean, I don't either insomniac's busy so i don't I mean, think I, they I, have time kill zone i don't know kill zone's not a bad that's not a bad idea kill, kill zone yeah. not very kill popular big, kill zone but, they had kill zone for a while as being as their mascot but after that was, shadow that was fall true. They they didn't do anything. Yeah, they kind of let that go. Like, mm-hmm. I I I could see resistance so calm. Killzone most likely though is going to be something new. I think maybe I think I think it'd be a good idea to do so calm personally. Mm-hmm. Try to make a division, but like make it good. <laughs> <laughs> just, just just trying to piss off everyone. I <laughs> listen to the show. <laughs> uh, to wrap up the news, yeah, short news day today. Wrap up the news, although you'll find Alex and I don't care, although Alex might. We wanted to tell you achievers nonetheless. So Sonic Colors Ultimate was announced during a, quote, Sonic Central is what it was called. Not messing with anyone. It's called Sonic Central. Hilarious. A video by publisher Sega did announce that Sonic Colors is coming. They celebrated their big old gaming mascot. The only way they know how is rehashing an old game. And announcing one coming soon. Mm-hmm. 2022, they gave very vague details, but something called Sonic Rangers is coming next year. Uh, although, going back to the original statement, Sonic Colors Ultimate will be coming to PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC, specifically on the Epic Game Store on PC, and that will release September 7th. December 7th? September. 
Oh, September. Thank Seppy. you. Seppy. Sep. Yeah. Sep. <laughs> I'm. I'm interested. I mean, I. I honestly, I never played Sonic Colors. I heard when it's I was good. watching it. It gave me a lot of Sonic Adventure uh, vibes, and I might play it. You a fan of the adventure? Yeah, yeah I like. You I played mean, two, right? Yeah, Sonic Adventure Battle. Second one. Sonic Adventure Battle Two, the one oh. with the with the Chow Garden mm. and stuff like that. Like mm. I always loved that when I was little. I probably won't care, but I will try <laughs> Sonic Colors just to see if it's good. Um, mm-hmm. The 2022 thing actually, very interestingly, was probably leaked by a game tester on 4chan. Mm-hmm. If you don't, if you do not know what 4chan is, uh, 4chan. congratulations, congratulations. Keep it that way, okay? Now I'm going to yeah. very quickly, Alex. Can you yeah. fill the time 4chan. in? Can you can you fill the time in for me, really quick, while I find the um the thing? Because it was actually very recently. Uh, yeah. But just just um, uh just let them know. What do you think of um Sonic? Is this something that's relevant? Do you think? They had the movie. They have their so game that is, they're trying to come back, right? But like, a, is this a something? A lot of people. That's... A lot of people really still love Sonic. I mean, there are people that play the mobile game still. There's people that there's, apparently they announced that there's going to be, I think, two shows. Uh, there's going to be it's one's called Sonic Prime, and then there's another animated uh Sonic. Um, for people who play the mobile games, it's like that Sonic Dash game. Apparently, they're adding a bunch of stuff to that um apparently um what's it called uh they're uh, supposedly supposed to be bringing back something called sonic origins so for people who like sonic one two three and sonic and knuckles i mean they said they're working on that to I, I don't know if it was a remaster or just like a, a port but they're bringing back that as they're trying to they said that they look like they're trying to bring that back as a collection which I mean, interesting. I mean, I thought we had that already. I'm not sure, but so far, uh, I mean, it's interesting. But um, I am excited for Sonic Colors All Limited because it looks really fun, and I do want to try the new one for sure because I did. Don't care what anybody says. I've told you, the 360 version is not the worst game in the world. I not, I've tried achievers. Worst. I've tried. It's fine. I've tried. It's, I'm not doing this. Fine. I'm not doing this. No, I'm not I don't doing this. I do not care for silver. Oh my god, that's the thing you do. no. That I, I wasn't do gonna not, do it. I do not care for silver. Now, after this Sonic Central thing, people got mad that they didn't see anything about Shadow the Hedgehog two. That game is so old i'm so there's you're not getting a sequel to that game <laughs> sonic the hedgehog shadow man shadow my god hedgehog. sonic sonic is one of those things where it's like this look, must be sh- what people think about kingdom hearts you know what look, i mean like look, you- shadow the hedgehog the game came out in 2005 <laughs> for hey, ps2 gamecube and original xbox he can live again he can live again if, what are look, you afraid now, of look now if they do a, a, re, a, a remaster for the game you know I'm gonna play it. Yeah, I... but oh, yeah, Alex. That's so it for my Sonic random. Back in January, someone leaked Sonic Rangers. Now we know it's called Sonic Rangers. I don't believe they actually said the title. I don't know. I don't they think... did not say it. They're they... not in the Sonic Central. They always showed. They didn't even show a title or anything. They just showed so... him running, and that's it. So multiple reasons why we know Sonic Rangers. First off, the four chain in January says sonic rangers second off they uh javascript i think is what it's called the website or the teaser 4k whatever the assets Mm -hmm. are called sonic ranger it's called Mm -hmm. sonic rangers now so that's true that there's now multiple evidence so i 100 percent believe it's called sonic rangers now I won't read the spoiler parts of this because it looks like they did a focus test for the final boss. I will just give you the overview of the game. This is news, so I feel like it's it's worthy. Alex has timestamps if you want to skip this. So it's so it's okay. We love you. <laughs> so did a focus test for a new Sonic. This is an anonymous unfortunate. Did a focus test for the new Sonic game called Sonic Ra- uh, Rangers. Again, this is in January, which is an open world adventure game which takes heavy inspiration from Breath of the Wild. Did two demos, a 20 minute long exploration of the open world, and a final with a question mark boss. They don't know if it's the final boss, they just assume. Um, and that'll be the spoilery part that I make sure you know of beforehand. So, first, open world is populated with small enemies, puzzles, and platforming challenges. Two, 
complete completing puzzles challenges enemy rewards xp which can be redeemed in a skill tree three skill tree unlocks abilities like the spin cycle where you will hold y sonic starts tracing a line behind him and if you finish a circle it attacks all enemies inside the circle uh lock on attacks return there are bosses spread through the open world defeating them grants orbs if you get enough orbs you can go to a portal and go to cyberspace Cyberspace levels are gener generations style, and the music goes hard <laughs> in, in all caps. Beating them fast enough grants chaos emeralds. Exploration and combat was super boring, very button mashy, but whatever. New new voice acting by Roger and no one else was present, so they're definitely sticking to the general theme at least. Now, hmm. this is when the final boss gets into. So again, Alex has a stem tab right here, and we will pick up when I'm done talking about that at the end. <laughs> now for the Final, I think, boss is what you call it. After gathering all the emeralds, you can then cut through a thick fog you couldn't before in the open world. Gigantic tree robot thing is a boss. <laughs> Fly around it as supersonic, utilizing spin cycle and other abilities, mainly mashing buttons. Can't take damage on a timer of rings. A ghost girl refills your ring count multiple times. <laughs> this is definitely a Sonic game. Uh, demo ended after defeating the boss. Alex is now putting in time cones. I will let you know first off that sounds exactly like a sonic game but believe everything a ghost girl gives some rings yes that's the most sonic thing i've ever heard in my entire life <laughs> two breath of the wild you can say breath of the wild anything i will probably try and at least think about buying it three something about the word chaos emeralds it gets me going i don't know why it makes me want to buy whatever chaos it is control. chaos control stupid so stupid i love it though it's so stupid Four, anytime you make a hedgehog go Super Saiyan, I will laugh and think about buying the game. So think about that timer, Sega. If you've got if you've got at least five to six times where you can go Super Saiyan Hedgehog, I might buy the game. Alex, what did you think of that whole explanation we just went through? So if everything is true and this is an open world Sonic game, I will buy this game. Oh! Oh, I, he's he's not lying, ladies and gentlemen. He says he's gonna buy the game. There's been sandboxy Sonic games before, so like Sonic of uh, Sonic Adventure DX, like on the GameCube, where you could run around the city and talk to people, and you can do things like look for uh, gems and everything, dig them up and stuff. When I was little, I loved that shit. I was fun walking around. I enjoyed it. This is like more open. Like it's a Sonic RPG. It's it sounds dope. Uh, it definitely doesn't sound dope to me, but it definitely sounds like a Sonic Look, game that people will this is, probably this is like. My, I don't know. This is Do people even play. like Sonic? Uh, yeah. It's one of those things. That, Do you even Sonic. like Sonic? Again, this is probably what people who don't like Kingdom Hearts look at us when they see us talking about Kingdom Hearts. One of those things where it's like, people like that thing? All right. <laughs> I'm being a dick. I'm, I'm only teasing achievers. If you like it. Of course, more power to you. You're but look, it you, is. Look what you did. It, I know. I'm sorry, Achiever. No, come on, come back, come, back, come back. Okay, we're, we're cool now. See something but... behind you. You're <laughs> oh! like, <"Ooh."> <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for for real, being for real now. Um, interesting. I think Sonic needs a good game. I think we yeah, haven't I had a good Sonic game in a long time. We had Generations, which I heard was really good. I never played it. Sonic Mania was awesome. I only played like three levels of it. So I think we're due for like a... Let's really try and make this good. We had the movie that was, for some reason, super popular. Mm. Some people say that it, it, it got it, um, it got better numbers or it did better than Detective Pikachu. Okay, yeah. I saw that too. I was like, Crazy. is it a... Is it a yeah, I mean, it's a, a Pikachu that's a detective, so people are probably confused. And that just says Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know. That's beside the point. Mm -hmm. it, that is crazy. That is crazy. I don't want to be, be whittle, bewilder that statement. That is crazy that Sonic is even kind of relevant. I, I mean, I'm not being a dick. I'm being serious. Sonic hasn't yes, had a relevant game in years. So mm -hmm. I'm surprised they were even able to make a movie that was successful. Right, yeah, I mean, you agree people, where you can I mean, you agree I, with that? There's, there, yeah, no, there, there's it's just that there's that fan base that is constantly wanting a Sonic game. I'm, 
I was going to make a joke about furries, but I won't. I w that shows you the constraint I have, Achievers. I was going to make a joke about furries, and I didn't. Mm. It's going to be really good. Back to the point. S Sonic Hedgehog, very surprised it's still a thing. I'm happy for everyone involved. I don't really mm -hmm. have too much else to say, Alex. What do you think? I mean, I, I've said my piece. PS Plus June lineup has been shown. And don't worry... It's good. <laughs> Virtual Fighter 5, Ultimate Showdown, Star Wars, Squadrons, and Operation Tango. That sounds like a terrible children's movie. Operation <laughs> Tango. Is that is that one the PS5 game for this month? I think okay. so. Achievers, let me know. It should be, though. It should be. Now that you know that PlayStation Plus came out, so that means we have to go over the games with the gold. Alex? Would you like to go over with Games with Gold with me? Sure. King's Bird for Xbox One. Shadows Awakening for Xbox One. Neo Geo Battle Coliseum for 360. Neo Injustice Neo. Gods Among Us for 360. Why? What is happening? Are you still doing this, Xbox? Why? Look, why? Because, you know why? It's because everything's on fucking Game Pass that they can't give you anything for free anymore. King's Bird is what you just gave me? King's Bird is a real video game that you're trying to sell me on Games with Gold. Look, look How we just, we just had you. some Massacre Llama thing last month, the other month. <laughs> That's true. That looked really fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm joking. I literally have no idea what this game is. So more power to you if you enjoy the game. I'm just fucking around. But that is a sad lineup, regardless. Now I'm not. We're not going to do this every month. We know it sucks. Game Pass. I did not see an update uh, for Game Pass for the month, which is interesting. And apologies for the achievers. I should have noticed this, but I did not. So I'm going to very quickly try and find. Why you look for that? Um, Go ahead. I am, I'm a little insulted because you didn't ask me what we've been playing. And you know we always talk about what we've been playing. We do. We do. And look. And man, <laughs> I have to talk about it. Mass what? Effect. We've been talking about it for like weeks now. And it's only been one week. I was like, okay, it's been. <laughs> oh, you were getting pissed. You're like, blah, blah. <laughs> look. But it, it, look, it's Mass Effect, okay? I'm on three. I'm almost done. Achievers, you can you can find our you know spoiler casts to Mass Effect one, two, and three on Easy Achievers. Soon, soon. Probably by the time you hear this, maybe we'll do it. Uh, hopefully, we have one up. Um, find anything? I think so. All right, here we go. Crack the knuckles. Sorry about this, Achievers. It happens, but this is Game Pass for June twenty second. Ready? <laughs> Or for the month of June, I guess. Here's the full lineup. This is May. Why is it telling me May? Oh, you done screwed up now. I did. What the fuck? <laughs> we didn't technically go over this. So I guess I'll do it. Look, I, I got it. I'm going to very quickly that. say. Okay, we don't know what the full list is yet. But they said, really? What the fuck? How have I not heard about this? Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance is launching on Xbox Game Pass on June twenty second. I did not know this. I'm like super I mean, excited for this game. Dark Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. Yes. I thought you were. I thought you were excited for Bolter's Gate Dark Alliance. Uh, both. I can't be excited for both. Huh? I mean, I guess not. <laughs> I'm excited for both. Dark Alliance That's Two is an old PS2 game. These are. It looks like it's trying to bring the the thing back mm, okay. it doesn't look great so i probably wasn't gonna buy it but now i'm gonna play it that's very exciting i'm very very excited for that um well let's talk about some of the may stuff so very quickly did we talk about it? i don't remember if we did uh, 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 was it dragon quest builders 2 fifa 21 outlast 2 steep final fantasy 10 10 2 hd remaster play that just okay. cause 4 reloaded what <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Psychonauts, Red Dead Online. What? Mm -hmm. Instead of buying the whole game, you just get the online. Remnant from the Ashes, Snow Runner, Peggle Two, May twentieth. Plants vs Zombies Battle for the Neighborhood, May twentieth. 
Um, everything is already out by the time of recording. That's why I haven't been saying the dates. So I'm gonna actually pick it up when the so, when the games are coming out. So it's pl- funny the plans for the zombies one. It's it's it says it's going to the a cloud. Yeah, it's just going to cloud, right? It's weird because it's already on EA Play for free. Yeah, I think it's just saying it's now on cloud. Um, mm-hmm. Secret Neighbor on PC, Wild Heart console PC, The Catch, Carp and Course Fishing. Cl- cloud console pc knockout city is it's out fun. console it's pc fun. man eater oh such a good console game. cloud pc conan exiles that's the guy from the game show right that is cl- console cloud fusion <laughs> frenzy cloud joyride turbo cloud mecco mech warrior 5 mercenaries console may 28th so as of recording, it should be live. Slime Rancher. I'll never say that without laughing. PC. <laughs> Solista Crown of Magister. Spellforce 3 Soul Harvest. That is all live right now on Game Pass. Apologies relate to that. Very interesting that they don't have June up yet, though. Um, oh, is this? You're lying. This is a lie. Sorry. Sorry. Um <laughs> Things that are leaving May 31st. So you only have a few days left to either buy the game and get the discount or play them before they leave. Assetto Corsa Cloud Console Bro Force PC Kingdom Hearts. Oh, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix and Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Great, great names all around. Surviving <laughs> Mars Cloud Console PC. Void Bastards Cloud Console PCs. As reiterated, those are leaving. May 31st. So either go get that 10% off or go play them before they go. Alex. Yep. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Give me a second. What happened? Gotta make sure it's not. Okay. All right. That's the news for the week. We have a little segment we call a date update and we go over some dates that just got updated. Dying Light 2 has been shown again. Mm-hmm. And we promise it's coming out this time. It's called Dying Light 2 Stay Human. Dying Light 2 called Stay Human is December 7th. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why it's called that. <laughs> Fire Cry 6 gameplay reveal. As of going live is today. It should be live-ish around the time this is going live. I th- um, So yep. we hopefully will get a reacts up for that for you. Yep. I like looks, the Far Cry games. Yeah. I do too. Um, and then both Pokemon games got dates. Pokemon Legends Acreus launches January 28th, 2022. And then Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, those beautiful, beautiful remakes, will launch November 19th. That's date update for you for the week. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, before we go, we like to relax. We like to wine and dine going into the weekend. We like to relax. We like. To start the show off and end the show off in a similar matter. Not this week, though. We're going to end the show like we should have started it, according to Alex. Alex, <laughs> I have one singular Jupiter question for you. I'm oh, you're my- a rave band. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened to my camera. I think the battery died. <laughs> All right, it's fine. Um, oh, uh, you can. Uh, uh, let's turn that off so we don't confuse the achievers. <laughs> but, oh, is it coming back? Uh, probably not. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's, you, you, uh, you don't. Alex, I have page. one single question. What have you been playing? Didn't we iterate, iterate this already? You complained. Oh my god! Do you see what I have to deal with? But I, I give him what he wanted, and he complains about it. All right. No, no, this is what you wanted. It's all about Mass <laughs> Effect. <laughs> Tell me about Mass Effect. Uh, it's great, great Mass Effect Three. I feel like I've only played. I think I've only played twice, and it's just been so long since I played it. So good. You said you played it. Knockout City. Yes, I did. Knockout maybe there's City. an achiever out there that's thinking about buying it or playing it on Game Pass. Maybe. What it would is, you say to them? It oh, it's so fun. Like you would think when you see like it's a dodgeball game. Like what? You're like you believe really, it's kind of weird. They. Because you would think that you would like just like miss all the time. The the feature is like literally the ball would aim automatically aim to them and it curves to them. Okay. But you can actually either catch the ball or you gotta like move around and hatch mm. like off. So there's very strategic things you can do, but it's it's very fun. And like it's just, it 
go try it. It's it it doesn't hurt to try it, and it was surprisingly enjoyable. I I played with a friend of mine for like three hours. It was like it was just so much fun. And don't worry, we're paid chills by Microsoft. So remember, it's on Game Pass. Ding. <laughs> I have been playing Mass Effect and Destiny Two. I've played Vault of Glass, the new raid that's come back. That's not new, but kind of new, but mostly the same raid that you played in Destiny One. Very mm. fun. The loot is great. I love where Destiny 2 is at currently. I love getting raids together. It's so much fun. You get to play with five other people. Um, and I love going through Atheon. Um, everything's pretty similar. Just about everything's the same. Their mechanics. It is technically harder. Definitely isn't hard, though, I would say. Um, I had a great time with Destiny 2 over the past week getting through those, through those raids. We almost got a day one completion. Almost. We got really close. Uh, but Mass Effect, I've been playing Mass Effect just like Alex. I finished one and two just like Alex. I am about two thirds of the way through Mass Effect three. I need to finish out my Geth tally thing going on in three, yep. and then yep. once yep. I finish that, I'm going to no, sorry, I need to, I finished Omega. I did some Geth stuff. I'm going to finish Geth stuff. Go do Leviathan DLC. Go do Horizon. Go do Citadel. Go beat the game, and that's it. I can't wait. Don't worry, we're going to have spoiler casts and review discussions for both Mass Effects 1, 2, and 3 live to you as soon as we can get it to you. We finished 1 and 2, so those are going to be recorded as soon as possible, ASAP, for your beautiful ears to listen to. Now, Alex is just a black box spiraling into the void, so he can't join me today, but I don't need him for what I'm about to do. Remember, you can go over to our pages every single friday i'm still to see the latest easy achievers game podcast to be to to enrich your ear if you like that don't worry there's plenty of ways you can support us for free let's start with for free this week you can go over hit that like button you can subscribe for more videos you can also leave a comment and let us know what you thought of the video or comment about something we Give feedback on every single comment that's left. If you want to support us with some pennies, maybe a dollar or two, patreon.com slash easy achievers. You give us plenty of money over there. That gives you access to tiers. It gives you the ability to Patreon DM us. That's the way you get onto the show. You leave us a question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea. Thank you so much for listening to this far in the video. You're a real achiever. If you're this far, and I appreciate you. Alex appreciates you too, but he's in the void. He's in the Superman Phantom Zone. Phantom Zone. Oh god. Well, I, I can did, still I, I feel like I could still hear you, his voice. How did you almost forget that? I, I'm I, upset. I, it's crazy. I every now and then I think I can still hear him, but I know I can't because he's in the shh, Phantom shh, Zone shh. that I <laughs> that I heard. But let's all remember Boy. just let's all <laughs> let's all think about what Alex would do. If he was here, what would he say? I would, I think, say, go achieve. But what would he say right after that? I'm going to play some Mass Effect. Okay, I guess that's what he says this week. Thank you so much. <laughs> we love you. We're going to go play some Mass Effect. Go achieve. Go achieve.